This is a story all about how he spends his life running all around. And we'd like to take a minute, just sit right down. We'll tell you how he became the king of a school in our town. In West Hamilton, where he spends his days in the playground, the office, and of course, the hallways. Chilling out, max and relaxing, all cool. Wait, what? It's way too busy at eight. Oh, well, school at a quarter to eight. He begins his day, hoping to catch up on yesterday. But the madness begins like right away. Phone calls, complaints, and bills to pay. They beg and they play with him day after day. He always lists things and sends them on their way. He gives them his promise to leave feeling happy. He sits at his desk and begins his nap. <laughs> Visiting classes, yo, this is bad. Teachers misbehaving, this makes him mad. Is this what the staff at our school acts like? Hmm, that's not alright. Discipline restorative just isn't all that. That is the job of this school cat, but not just that. No, I don't think so. Announcing and schedule the courageous combo. Well, as the day goes on, he runs about. There's an important job and he has to go out. Measuring, nailing, preparing the mold, spreading the concrete just a robo. Then he's called back in, and when he comes near, Jack starts breaking down. Man, here comes the tears. He wishes that he could just disappear, but he thought, ah, forget it. Too late to steer clear. The day's almost done, and it's getting late. And he yells, covers in, going home, see you later. He looks at his kingdom that he must leave for the role of principal he has achieved. <laughs>